Hey everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and I am currently getting ready to go on my book tour. My book comes out Tuesday, October 20th, which is right around the corner, depending on when you're watching this, but it's so soon, so I'm a little bit busy right now and I've been wanting to make a video for you guys and it just so happens that my buddy Ryder made a who is texting me. Like I was saying, my buddy Ryder made a little video all about me. It's a brief history of everything you could ever want to know. Enjoy. P.S. I did not force him to say any of the nice things that he's about to say about me. I feel really blushy even thinking about it because I watched it and I was like, oh god, I'm like, you're very nice, Ryder. But girl, <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Tyler Oakley. Ready, set, go. September 18th, 2007. Having just moved into his dorm, preparing for his freshman year of college, Michigan State student Tyler Oakley decides to set up a YouTube channel for the purpose of keeping in touch with his friends from high school. The earliest videos uploaded to this self-titled channel, which have since been made private, mainly featured Tyler directly addressing his high school friends for long stretches of time. However, having been inspired by the likes of Tessa Violet, Michael Buckley, and William Sled, it wasn't long before Tyler began creating videos intended for mass consumption, with the oldest video currently viewable on the channel having been uploaded on October 1st, 2007. Tyler's early video blogging style was quintessentially classic YouTube, with most uploads being pretty short, simple vlogs about whatever was on Tyler's mind, with very occasional lip sync videos and sketch style videos thrown in for good measure. But while Tyler's genre of content was pretty standard for YouTubers at the time, it was his energetic, sassy, and incredibly likable personality that helped him to stand out. Over the next year or so, Tyler continued uploading these vlogs pretty consistently, and throughout 2008, Tyler made quite a name for himself, releasing videos like Pimp Cup, a 30 second long thing that grew into its own quasi meme having been parodied by the likes of Charlie is so cool like and John Green as well as a vlog entitled why I think gay marriage is wrong a sarcasm heavy jab at those against legalizing gay marriage which has since amassed over 1 million views but of all of these videos perhaps the most important was project for awesome Trevor hotline a vlog made to promote the Trevor project a nonprofit organization focused around suicide prevention among LGBTQ youth also in 2008 outside of his main channel Tyler helped launch a collab channel called five awesome some gays with fellow YouTubers Nanu Boy, Grey K2, also known as Corey Cool, Stevie Productions, and Jesus is my boyfriend. There's now an audio clip of me saying Jesus is my boyfriend. Now there's two. Huh. Programming on this channel ran from February 3rd, 2008, all the way up to May 28th, 2011, although it did come back for a reunion month in October of 2014, sans Tyler. Returning to Tyler Oakley's main channel for a bit, as the years went on, Tyler's content continued to grow naturally, but incredibly quickly. While he never had the one big viral hit that launched his career, some of his videos did occasionally garner more attention than others, especially those in which Tyler talked about Darren Chris, One Direction, and lip-synced to Nicki Minaj. Roll clip! <laughs> By 2012, co Conquer? I'm not talking about Conquer, I'm talking about Tyler Oakley. Oh man, I'm a dumbo head. By 2012, Tyler's presence online was really beginning to pick up steam, which then prompted him to quit his day job and go full time on YouTube. And Tyler's dedication to his content was reflected in its success, having hit 1 million subscribers by June of 2013 and celebrating this milestone with a Draw My Life video. Following this achievement, in August of 2013, Tyler launched a project called Special August, a month long 20 video collab fest that featured all of your favorite YouTubers, such as Grace Helbig, Mamory Hart, Zoella, Troy Sivan, and one. Whoa, wait. One Direction? Huh. Impressive. Collaborations had always been a major component of Tyler's content, and they continue to be to this day. So the choice to do special all guests just seemed like a natural next step for his channel, having since become an annual event. So 2013 was a pretty insane year for Tyler, but if you can believe it, 2013 was like child's play compared to 2014. Throughout this year, Tyler got the chance to work with the likes of Jesse J, Darren Chris, Julie Chin, and even Barack and Michelle Obama, among others. But most significantly, 2014 saw the launch of two very different projects from Tyler. The first of these projects was a weekly half hour our podcast known as Psychobabble. Hosted by Tyler with his best friend and frequent collaborator Corey Cool, Psychobabble launched on August 31st, 2014 and debuted at number one on iTunes. In addition to Psychobabble, in 2014, Tyler announced that he will be going on a tour of the United States. This tour, known as Tyler Oakley's Slumber Party Tour, aimed to recreate the feeling of hanging out in Tyler's living room and just having a sleepover, complete with games, gossip, and onesies. Which I'm noticing are a strangely common trend among YouTube shows. This tour was a massive success and is stretched out to include dates in Australia, 
Canada, and the UK. And I bet you thought that things couldn't get any bigger than all of this, but 2015 has turned out to be, you guessed it, even bigger with more touring, more collabs, more psychobabble, and one very big announcement. On May 8th, 2015, Tyler Oakley released a video entitled, I'm Ready to Tell the Truth, in which he announced that he will be releasing his first ever book, Binge. Scheduled for release in October of 2015, Binge, in true Tyler fashion, is a tell-all book three years in the making that dives into behind-the-scenes aspects of Tyler's life that he has never, ever discussed before. In fact, he has gone so far as to say that even if you have seen every single one of his videos, you will still know nothing of what's in Binge. And on top of Binge, in early October 2015, Tyler also announced a documentary film called Snervous. Set for a limited theatrical release in December of 2015, followed by a digital release, Snervous follows Tyler throughout his slumber party tour, recounting his life and career in the process. You know, kind of like this video, but longer and almost certainly better. Outside of his main channel, podcast, tours, and book, Tyler is still one of the busiest people on YouTube. Between his second channel, Extra Tyler, his merchandise line, countless hosting gigs, and various television appearances on shows like The Talk, Catfish, Ellen, and The Late Late Show, there are very few vloggers as prolific as Tyler Oakley. But all of that aside, perhaps Tyler's greatest achievement is his work with the aforementioned Trevor Project. You see, following his Project for Awesome video on the foundation, Tyler began to work for Trevor as an intern soon after he began hosting their red carpet events and eventually became a member of their board of directors. In addition to all of this, ever since 2013, Tyler has put on an annual fundraiser for the Trevor Project on his birthday. In 2013, Tyler and his fans were able to raise $29,000 for Trevor, which then increased to $500,000 in 2014 and another $500,000 in 2015. In fact, Tyler's work with Trevor has been so substantial that in 2014 he was named the foundation's largest individual donor and was awarded the Trevor Youth Innovator Award, an achievement that Tyler cites as the highlight of his career so far. Tyler Oakley is without a doubt one of the most successful video bloggers in YouTube history. To put this into perspective, two years ago in October of 2013, Tyler attended a One Direction concert and this happened. <laughs> nearly the entire Staples Center arena cheering for someone who's just in the crowd. And he's only gotten bigger since then. On top of continuing to make consistent and high quality content, he has also become somewhat of a full-fledged mainstream celebrity, which is something very few YouTubers have accomplished. From his multiple TV spots, magazine photo shoots, awards, and now book, Tyler Oakley really is far more than just your average video blogger. Opening up doors and breaking down barriers of what YouTube creators can achieve. Even with nearly 8 million subscribers and more than half a billion total video views and counting on just his main channel. Tyler is still a modest, down-to-earth guy whose biggest priority is doing what he loves and helping others with the platform he was given by doing so. And whether that involves raising thousands of dollars for charity or simply brightening up someone's day with a single video, Tyler has accomplished these goals in spades and plans to simply keep getting better and better at what he does as the years go on. And considering how successful he's been over just the last eight years, I think it's safe to say that Tyler is going to continue helping make the world a better place for a long time. Thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA. Can we talk about how amazing that was? I mean, I was blushing the whole time, but that was amazing. Ryder has a YouTube channel where there are plenty of other brief histories that you can watch, whether it's Hannah Hart, or Dan and Phil, or Rhett and Link, or other things in pop culture, not just YouTubers. If you want to check that out, I would say you should definitely go subscribe and send my love. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, there's gonna be links below if you want to check out Ryder's channel. If you want to see my latest video, click right there. If you want to listen to the latest podcast episode, click right there. If you would like to be my person of the week click right there and be sure to get my book it comes out next week and I hope that you get it it would mean the world to me if you got it next week if you go into a store and you find it take a selfie with it and send it to me I'm going to be posting and retweeting and all that stuff and giving love to people that go into stores and find the book um, that would be the coolest thing ever I can't believe my book is gonna be in stores anyway um, so do that I love you you are the best and I am obsessed with all of you that's all go subscribe to writers channel okay gotta go Bye.